Welcome to this ultrasonic radar project where sound waves meet real-time visualization. Watch as the sensor sweeps the environment, detecting objects with precision. Stay tuned to learn how you can build this radar yourself. Let's start by assembling the hardware components for our ultrasonic radar. First, I take the Arduino Uno as the brain of the system. Next, I connect the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. The trig pin goes to Arduino pin 10 and the echo pin to pin 11. These pins allow the sensor to send and receive ultrasonic pulses. Then, I hook up the servo motor to pin 12 on the Arduino. The servo will rotate the sensor to scan across the area. Power and ground connections are essential, so I connect the 5 volt NGND pins properly to the sensor and servo to ensure stable operation. Using jumper wires and a breadboard, I carefully make all these connections to avoid loose contacts. Once all the wiring is set, it's ready for the software side, where we program the Arduino to control the sensor and servo. This hands-on assembly is simple but crucial, giving you a tangible feel for the components that make up our radar system. Carefully making hardware connections is crucial for any electronics project. Loose or incorrect wiring can cause unstable behavior damage components, or prevent the system from working altogether. Taking the time to double-check each connection ensures safety, reliability, a smooth development process. Remember, a solid foundation leads to successful projects. Let me walk you through the project page on GitHub. Here you'll find a detailed README file explaining the purpose, components, and features of the ultrasonic radar system. This open source project includes important improvements for stable and efficient operation, carefully documented for anyone who wants to build or modify it. All the necessary hardware and software components are listed, along with clear instructions on how to set up the system. If you want to dive deeper, you can explore the code, documentation, and license details right here. Although the HCSR04 sensor itself can measure distances up to about 400 centimeters, this project limits the visualization range to 40 centimeters to maintain accuracy and clarity. However, this range can be modified within the processing sketch to suit different needs. This comprehensive documentation and thoughtful design make the project accessible for both beginners and advanced users who want to explore ultrasonic radar visualization using Arduino and processing. Next, I open my Mac terminal and clone the project repository using Git. This pulls all the files needed for the project onto my computer. Now let's look at the Arduino code that controls the ultrasonic radar scanner. First, we define the pins for the ultrasonic sensor's trigger and echo signals, as well as the servo motor control pin. The servo is programmed to sweep between 15 degrees and 165 degrees, with a short delay to stabilize the position. Inside the main loop, the servo continuously scans back and forth across this range. At each angle, the Arduino triggers the ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance to any object in front of it. The distance is calculated based on the time it takes for the ultrasonic pulse to travel to the object and back. Finally, the Arduino sends the current angle and measured distance data over the serial port in a simple angle distance format. This data will be received by the processing program to visualize the radar scan in real time. Next, let's explore the processing sketch responsible for visualizing our ultrasonic radar data. This program opens a serial connection to the Arduino, listening for incoming angle and distance data. To optimize performance, the drawing function only updates when fresh data arrives, limiting the frame rate to 30 frames per second for smooth and efficient rendering. The radar screen is drawn as a semicircular sweep with concentric arcs representing distance markers. The current scan angle is displayed with a bright green sweep line, while detected objects are marked with red lines extending outward, scaled based on the measured distance. If the detected object is within range, set to 40 centimeters, it is shown clearly. Otherwise, the status out of range is displayed. Additional textual information like angle, distance, and range markers are drawn for easy interpretation. This visualization technique combines motion blur and fading effects to mimic the look and feel of a real radar screen, making the scan intuitive and visually appealing. 
Running the sketch now, you can see the radar scanning live on my screen. Objects detected within range are highlighted clearly. Overall, this processing code translates raw sensor data into an interactive, real-time radar display that helps users perceive spatial information effectively. Thanks so much for watching this ultrasonic radar project come to life. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more exciting engineering projects, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Your support helps me create even better content, so consider joining me on Patreon or buying me a coffee. Together, we can explore more amazing tech. So don't miss out. Hit that follow button and stay tuned.